All the Gemini Sun, Virgo Moons, welcome to your 2025 Sun Moon reading. If it resonates, consider a personal pre-recorded or live reading. Just click on the link tree below to contact me or to text me 646-902-5715. When you see this is when you're meant to see it. It doesn't matter the time of year. Also check out your 2024 Sun Moon readings. They're still in my playlist. See if they rang true for you or someone you know. I have changed the format this year. The first portion of this reading, I will go over the traits of your Sun Moon combination, pull the main cards for the first half of the year and take a quick look at your 2025. The second portion is in the Vimeo link below where I will have the second half of the year in addition to clarifiers for all cards and a card of the device. Let's get to your reading or your traits rather and your reading. Gemini Sun Virgo Moons, you are a restless soul with a considerable amount of nervous energy. Try not to overthink or over worry about things you have no control over. Also, don't hold such high expectations for yourself and grant yourself some grace when it comes to your flaws. But also be forgiving of others and try not to be too critical. We're all human after all. You're more focused than most of your Gemini peers, which is a blessing. In your relationship, you worry too much about getting and doing everything right. Learn to relax around your partner or else they will pick up on that energy in a negative way. You're supportive of your lover and want to discuss every aspect of what's going right and what's going wrong. You bore easily, so be careful of the temptation to wander. A high energy mate who stays on the move is your best match. In the workplace, you have an unquenchable thirst for knowledge and your inquisitive nature makes you a pro at problem solving. You get along with all your colleagues and are always is welcome at the office parties. You like to be put to work and guide others, so you may find yourself party planning or a career in education. So Holy Spirit, Angels, Divine Guides, Universe, can you please write your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Gemini Sun, Virgo Moons for the year 2025? What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your heart, ground them closer to universe and closer to divine in the year 2025? Any messages you have would be greatly appreciated. We thank you. What do you see for January, February for Gemini Sun, Virgo Moons? We have the Queen of Wands in the upright. Also, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, like, share, subscribe, donate, or for a friend in support of my efforts. Always greatly appreciated. March and April, we have the Ten of Pentacles in the upright. And then what do you have for May and June for Gemini Sun, Virgo Moons, the Sun card in the upright? Looks like a pretty good first half of the year, at least. Um, January and February with the Queen of Wands in the upright, I feel as though you're feeling very, very good about yourself. I feel as though you're feeling on top of the world. You're feeling very courageous. You're feeling very inspiring, uh, very determined about something and deciding to um, embrace some sort of challenge and sink your teeth into it. Um, I feel as though you're you're going to make things happen during the period of January and February. Uh, the Queen of Wands is very good at doing that. She gets very fired up about something and she sets about doing something. You might actually be feeling a little bit social too, um, you know, showing off some of your charm, uh, your Gemini charm while you're out and about during this period of time. Now, the Ten of Pentacles in the upright during the period of March and April, I'm getting a sense of um, family, actually, uh, really kind of considering things in regards to your family, whether uh, what what is your legacy going to be? What is your inheritance going to be that you give to your children? Um, how are you going to be taking care of um, some of your, the elderly people in your family? I feel as though you're really going to focus on making your family unit stronger. Um, but in a very practical way. So I feel as though you're going to be putting investments into property. You're going to be uh, working on the family home. You're going to be, um, you know, putting aside, um, you know, nest eggs or savings or um, working on a retirement plan or life insurance or things like that. I just feel as though your focus really is about taking care of the family in a very practical sense and making sure that they're taken care of until the very end. Even if you're by yourself, I think you're making very practical decisions in regards to self and what's going to carry you through until the end. And in... May and June with the sun card in the upright, you're actually doing great. Um, the sun card is one of the best cards you could actually have in the entire deck. It's about happiness and joy and success and um, 
celebrating because things are so wonderful. Some of you actually may go on vacation during this period of time. The sun card in the upright is when you go away for some warm, sunny vacation that you desperately need and enjoy yourself. Uh, health is going to be radiating. Everything's going to be fantastic during this period of time. So if I were to guess, even though I haven't pulled cards for the second half of the year, I feel like this is going to be the peak of your year. But that's what I have for you at this present time. If it does resonate, consider a personal pre recorder or live reading. Just click on link tree below to contact me or text me 646-902-5715. But make sure you click on the video link below. I'll be pulling the second half of this reading in addition to clarifiers for all cards and a card of advice for 2024. Um, check out your, for 2025. Check out your 2024 Sun Moon readings. They're still in my play playlist. See if they rang true for you or someone you know. And then finally look me up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, donate, or refer me to a friend in support of my efforts. That is always greatly appreciated. Otherwise, Gemini, Sun, Virgo, Moons, I will see you in the Vimeo reading. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.